If you've always wanted to visit one of those picture-perfect European villages with outstanding scenic beauty, Old World charm were both. Here is a look at some of the most beautiful pictures and small towns in Europe. From the Norwegian fjords and the gorgeous Alps to the sun-drenched Greek Isles and all in between. Welcome to Travel Me. And you are watching most beautiful, tiny, and small towns in Europe. If you like this type of video, make sure to subscribe our channel for more such content. Let's start. Vinkelstol is a picture-perfect, typical Bavarian town. It is a popular stop on Germany's famed Romantic Road. It is among the most quaint old towns in Germany. This 800-year old townscape, preserved in an almost original condition, has rows of colorful half-timbered houses, a soaring church, ancient fortifications and gates, and broody. One unique aspect of Dinkel's old town is that it grew unplanned. Italy is strewn with incredibly beautiful islands, but Borno is the most colorful of them all. It is believed that the mulchite facades of the houses lining the shores helped the fishing folk of Borno to navigate their way home through the morning fog when they returned with their day's cat. The rainbow palette was synchronous in such a way that they could distinguish their own house from that of their neighbors. In fact, the local law still prohibits the use of any color other than the existing. A thriving tourism scene can well be the reason for this, but it has definitely helped retain the island's fairy tale charm. Vimarais is one of the finest historic cities in northern Portugal and is fondly regarded by the Portuguese as the birthplace of their country. This rich history is reflected in the many fascinating sites found throughout the city. Guimarães is a delight to visit and is regarded as the best day trip from Porto. Halstatt is one of the most beautiful towns that live visitors speechless with Lake Halstatt. Being a UNESCO World Heritage Site, this town adorns itself with exciting attractions and picturesque surroundings. Apart from being home to alpine houses, this town lets you get involved in a number of exciting activities like sailing on the fjord-like lake, visiting ice cave, etc. If you're looking for a beautiful and magical place to visit, look no further than Githorn Village in the Netherlands. This charming village is known for its picturesque canals and bridges, and it's a popular tourist destination for a good reason. Make sure to take a boat ride through the canals during your visit and enjoy the stunning scenery. You'll feel like you've stepped into a fairy tale world. This is a beautiful hilltop, minimal village in the south of France between Monaco and Nice. The village is famous for its spectacular views, impressive architecture, and stunning geographical location. Haitian. 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 That is the hilltop of a high cliff, about 1400 feet above the sea level, with the Mediterranean Sea underneath it. The unbelievable bees are everywhere you look. Bled is known for the glacial lake Bled, which makes it a major tourist attraction. Perched on a rock overlooking the lake is the iconic Bled Castle. The town is also known in Slovenia for its vanilla and cream pastry. For several years now, Bled has been advocating green tourism and is the proud recipient of the gold label of the Green Scheme of Slovenian Tourism. The town of Mostar is one of Bosnia and Herzegovina's most popular destinations. With cobblestone streets, old stone buildings, and its beautiful bridge spanning the picturesque Nerfa River, this town looks like it was plucked from the pages of a fairy tale. This small town attracts thousands of visitors per year. Seeing Starry Most, the old bridge, is the highlight of a visit here, but the charm of Moster extends well past the span of this bridge. Pick season for tourism is during the summer months. Without a doubt, the old bridge is the highlight of a visit to Moster. There is more to Moster than just a beautiful, fairytale bridge. 
the stone streets of the Old Town are almost as charming as the bridge itself. The Old Town is small. With just a few cobblestone lanes on either side of the Nurifa River, it doesn't take long at all to walk the entire Old Town. On these streets are cafes and souvenir shops. Seski Kromlov, in Bohemia's dip south, is one of the most picturesque towns in Europe. It's a little light Prague in miniature. On an Esco World Heritage site, with a stunning castle above the Vltava River, an old town square, Renaissance and Baroque architecture, and hordes of tourists milling through the strip. This town is cute and friendly, despite being overrun with tourists. Well, actually it's only touristy during the day, but once the day trippers return to Prague, Vienna, or Salzburg, it quiets down in the dynamic between the remaining tourists and... The island village of Rain is one of the most famous sites in Lofoten, simply because of the sheer number of photos in circulation. If you're visiting Lofoten, it's highly likely at least one photograph of rain accompanied it. Words cannot do justice to the breathtaking scenery on the approach to rain. It rivals the Atlantic Road for the honor of best driving experience in Norway. While there are a few local buses, a car is all but essential for an efficient, stress-free trip. The picturesque fishing village rain with its scenic landscape of Rheinfurt and the small islands, is dotted with red fishermen's cottages and hugged in between steep mountains that rise straight up. It is one of Norway's most photographed villages, and you have probably seen photos from Rain on Instagram. You could say that Rain has become almost synonymous with Lofoten, as it is often chosen as the front cover of traveling books and brochures about Lofoten and Norway.